We all know that the Earth is our most valuable resource that we have, and despite having knowledge about that, uh, we have to state that the balance between living well and uh, respecting the natural resources of our planet is challenging. The EOS vision is that we lead the world into responsible manufacturing with industrial 3D printing. We strongly believe that technology and innovation can actually help to save our planet and we know that conventional manufacturing technologies are very uh, resourceful and inefficient. With our technology, additive manufacturing, we can do better and establish this as the new normal in the manufacturing scene. Additive manufacturing is responsible by design. Uh, with additive manufacturing, you print layer by layer and you can also integrate different functions into it. And one of the big benefits that we see from a sustainability perspective is that you can produce lightweight parts. So in the production of this part, you need less material, you have less waste as well. I think one big benefit of additive manufacturing is um, when you see today we have big warehouses where so many spare parts are stocked and with additive manufacturing you can produce the parts where they're needed. You don't have to transport the parts in long ways. We can reduce the material we use for our production process again and again and so you also don't waste the material. We have a range of products we develop together with our customers, so looking at implants, prothesis, orthesis, also uh, tools that help in surgery and dental solutions. We all know that every person is unique and the shape of the body is not alike. So what we can do with our technology is actually improve customer care and customer treatment. So we can make sure that we customize the products to the need of the patients, but also to the uh, personal design uh, benefits they want to achieve. So we can make it perfectly fit to the shape of the body and make it look nice because we also know that this is influencing how uh, patients feel. My way to sports was a pretty long one, actually. When I was young, I was always the last to catch the ball in a regular sports class. So you can imagine that sports was not love at first sight. It only started when I was 18. I finally went into a spinning class. And that one hour cycling indoor, everyone was working out, was sweating, and I just loved that. And the thing was, at that moment, everybody was on the same level. My name is Denise Schindler. I'm a professional paracyclist competing at the Paralympic Games and I'm working together with EOS on different covers for my prosthetic. The advantages of additive manufacturing or 3D printing is that you don't need any tools. So you just have the data, you create that, so the designer creates, for example, a very complex lattice structure and then you just have to prepare the data and then you go, go directly to your 3D printer and the 3D printer is printing the part as you designed it. When I was two years old, I had an accident with the tram and I got amputated. So my whole childhood, I was raising up with a prosthetic. I want a prosthetic that really is able to be fast, to be stiff, to be aerodynamic. And 3D printing allows a lot of designing and creating and I think it's a very very important step for everyone else who's just in a very new situation of being amputated and getting the first prosthetic to really accept a prosthesis because it's a long way until you are fine with that and making that journey having different covers that you are involved in that you can choose which design you want helps so much to feel like something you can identify with. We produce for Denise a prothesis and I think prothesis are a very complex geometry and a very complex part 
and I think additive manufacturing is a great possibility to make a very individualized product for the person who needs this. You generate a real benefit for their whole life. I prefer that it's not looking like a real leg, honestly, because to me it doesn't have to look like a real leg because it's a prosthetic. And I love it that I can change it so much however I feel on that day. When we have the designing process, so I go to my orthopedic technician, he scans my prosthetic and then we can choose what kind of covers we would like to have. However my mood is, I can say, okay, today I like blue, but tomorrow I want to have a pink one, then I can change it and wear a different one. Because sometimes, you know, you want to be more outstanding, you want to be more sporty, sometimes you want to go out and be more classy. That's kind of a fashion piece and something you can play with and that makes it just fun to wear it, actually. Generally, it's very important for us to collaborate. The Additive Manufacturer Green Trade Association is an initiative that supports the environmental benefits of additive manufacturing. And one of the ideas is to do some research and joint projects together. I strongly believe, and at EOS we're convinced, that fighting climate change is a team effort. So it's not only about like one person or one company or the government, but it's really like working together, collaborating and co-create to improve how we deal with the resources we have in our planet. What we need is five times I. The first I is innovation. So we need to work on our systems uh, in terms of energy efficiency, for example. The second I is information. Uh, information about how additive manufacturing uh, can support sustainable manufacturing. The third I is impulse. So there needs to be a demand from someone to do this. The fourth I is infrastructure. So you can put your printers uh, anywhere uh, in the world. And the last I really is inspiration. What we always did was already in the last years is working together with our employees and empower them to get active in uh, local areas, but also to invest in projects that help, for example, to develop biodegradable materials. So we also have a corporate responsibility team that actually uh, also concentrated in making this building very resource efficient. So we really try to do a holistic approach, not only looking at the customer side and what our technology can bring, but also having it in the DNA, how we behave here. We want to lead by example. We want to prove that additive manufacturing can help make this world a better place. And we think with our innovation, with our technology, we already have the means to do so. I think it's clear that we are pioneering the space of responsible manufacturing now, but in the end, we only can achieve if we partner up and if we get a lot of followers and strategic partners to really work together with us. So I will not stop until we will have a lot of partners um, gathered around to really work towards these goals. And so I'm 100% convinced that we can establish responsible manufacturing as a new normal and that's our goal for the next years.